ThorSwap just launched a completely new transaction tracker, which makes tracking your swaps and knowing exactly what's happening so much clearer and easier. So let's go through a demo. So I'm at app.thorswap.finance, and this is the regular swap area, and let's connect some wallets. With ThorSwap being a true multi-chain DEX, you have a variety of chains you can connect and a variety of wallets depending on which chains you select and what's compatible with what. For the example, I'll use some native Bitcoin and Ethereum for my other chain, and I'll just use XDeFi to connect both. So let's connect wallet. And I'm connected, I can see that under wallet, my balances are showing. So let's take this USDC ERC20 on Ethereum and swap to some native Bitcoin on the actual Bitcoin chain and show you how you can track that transaction as it goes along. So let's just swap from USDC to native Bitcoin. So let's swap all of this USDC to native Bitcoin and see the new tracker. If this is your first time using ThorSwap, you'll see a breakdown of the fees and different swap routes right here. A lot of these fees are just coming from the gas of using actual Ethereum and Bitcoin in this case, which will of course vary depending on what assets and chains you're using. So let's submit this swap, confirm, sign it in your connected wallet, XDeFi in this case. Now you'll see the swap pending here and something new is this total countdown timer and you can expand by hitting details and see it step by step. So the first step already completed and really quickly and I'm on to the second step of the actual swap and then this is what is gonna take a long time in this particular case because Bitcoin is of course a very slow chain and that's gonna take about 15 minutes for the BTC to be sent to my wallet. So for this example, the first step was the USDC being sent into ThorChain. So that's just a quick transaction of a send on the Ethereum chain. Then we have ThorChain doing the USDC to Bitcoin swap. And then we have the Bitcoin being sent out. Again, this of course varies a lot depending on what assets you're using and what routes you're using. This could also be using liquidity sources other than ThorChain. So for example, if you had seen this use Uniswap to swap USDC to ETH and then ThorChain to do ETH to Bitcoin, it might have done that if it would have been a better output for you, then you would see that breakdown. If you're going the other way, then the first step might take the longest and so on. But really this is just so valuable and useful because you can see transparency into exactly what's happening with your swap and no longer ever have to feel confused or unsure if everything is going according to plan because right here you'll just see step by step how long each step is going to take and exactly what's happening. You can also use these view transaction buttons to see the individual transactions. For example, this is linking me out to Etherscan to see that send on Ethereum. This is linking me to ViewBlock to see the ThorChain swap. And then this would be linking me to Blockstream to see the Bitcoin send. So you can track every step of the process. So let's just give this a few minutes and then we'll watch it finish. A few minutes later and we see success. Third step has completed. Actually went a little quicker, I think because of estimating the Bitcoin block times and sometimes those vary, of course. So now we can see in our wallet, give this a refresh and our native Bitcoin is there. We're good to go. You also get your transaction history now, which is a really cool feature. You can see details and even go back to your prior swaps. This was me going from Bitcoin to USDC before this video, and you can actually see this one. So the longest step was the Bitcoin send in, then Bitcoin to ETH, and then this did an ETH to USDC swap. So this broke it all down and showed me step-by-step step what was happening and confirming along the way. One other useful thing is this share transaction URL. So if you ever have an issue with a swap and you're opening a support ticket, you can just easily share this transaction URL so then whoever's helping on support can easily access your transaction. Also, everything seen here in the transaction tracker is now part of SwapKit. SwapKit is ThorSwap's complete partner integration package. So getting ThorChain swaps or aggregator swaps, savers, really everything you see on ThorSwap, getting that plugged into the back end of other apps. That now includes everything to build this transaction tracker into your own app as well. So just building a front end on top of all of this back end data. So that's about it for the new transaction tracker. Definitely give it a try and do a swap on ThorSwap and check it out. Definitely a long awaited and huge improvement to ThorSwap. Really, really nice to know and see exactly what's happening with your swap as it's going along. So go give it a try at app.thorswap.finance.